Nutty Sports Gamer here. Welcome to another episode of the 40 Year Sim. It's early December. By the time this episode is over, we'll be at late January, the All Star break. It's time to get into the meat of the season. It's time to really sink our teeth into it. We've seen some rookies, we've got a taste of all the teams. Now let's check out which teams are good and why are they good, right? Like, let, let's. The Atlanta Hawks, we got a new team around Tim Duncan. Let's check them out more. We'll check out the Celtics, the Bucks. How about the Bulls and the Hornets? Are the Hornets finally going to be good? I think they might be good, finally. They're facing the Bulls right now. They're down by five. And we have Jason Richardson making a bucket for Chicago. Check out the replay. The Hornets have Baron Davis now, who's uh, definitely improved the squad. We'll see just how much they've improved as we check out the standings uh, a little bit later. But here is a missed three-point attempt by the Hornets. Rebound, Bulls, and whoa, touchdown pass. There's the touchdown. There's the dunk anyway. 93-84. Richardson with the dunk. We got Deshaun Stevenson, who was part of a trade that brought uh, him and Baron Davis to New Orleans. But we got a steal and a bucket by Zach Randolph, Zebo. And now it's a level point game. Baron Davis can't score. Rafe the Friends does get that ball in there. Baron Davis now to Rafe the Friends for the dunk. So the Hornets, can they claw back into this? Jason Richardson will make that basket. Nine point game, 202 left to go. And we have Dwayne Wade. He's, oh no, that's Baron Davis. Where's Dwayne Wade at? What's he doing? Baron Davis though will sink that three. But uh, Dwayne Wade's been quiet. Let's see if he does anything. Oh yeah, there we go. A layup by Dwayne Wade. Now we got Baron Davis dribbling the ball, pulling up for a three. No, but Rafe the Friends tips it in, and all of a sudden it's a two-point game. Wait a minute. This game got close. What happened? Baron Davis, 18 seconds left to go. Pulling it up for the three. No, the Bulls get the rebound. Intentional foul. Free throw one, free throw two. Both of them are good. 103.97. Rafe the French, 27 11. What the hell? Zach Randolph, 30 and 17. What a performance by him too more bulls i think we check out quite a few bulls games in this episode they're our interesting team uh i got we got uh zebo making a basket they're facing the washington wizards we got gilbert arenas on the other side with yao ming and mike miller and josh smith and des mason here's a jump shot by gilbert arenas now shane battier passing it to chauncey billups to zach randolph to Shane Battier for the three. 85-82 game. Zebo to Battier to Billups. Shot clock winding down. Billups with the basket. Two possession game. Desmond Mason guarded by Jason Richardson. The pass to Gibbet Arenas. The screen, the baseline jumper, no good. Yao Ming cannot come away with the rebound. And now here come the Bulls going the other way. How about a dunk by Jason Richardson? Oh, my God. He just bodied Desmond Mason. My God. Give it Arenas, meanwhile, missing a jumper. But Yao Ming's there for the putback. 91-86 now is the score. How about an alley-oop to Jason Richardson? That's that good shit. Now we got Gibberinus to Desmond Mason for a dunk. Five point game. Zebo to Battier. To Jason Richardson. Playing hot potato. Who's going to shoot the ball? Shane Battier? Six to three. What a possession. Killed all that time and made the three. That's nice. 190. Final score of the Bulls with another win. 19 and 12 for. Randolph, 18 for Jay Rich, 20 and 12 for Yao Ming, 17 for Des Mason, and only 14 for Gilbert Arenas. He was 5 for 16 from the field. And uh, wow, that maybe there's something there. I think we might have something here. Potential thumbnail right there. 
I know Jason Richardson isn't exactly a box office type of player, but uh, that was a that was a cool dunk, and I, I want to commemorate it somehow. But we'll see if there's another better screenshot later on in this video. We got a three by Jason Terry because now we're watching Blazers versus Lakers. Rebound, Kobe dunks the ball one hand. Four and a half left to go in the game. We got Kerry Kittles out there. Passing it to Chucky Atkins. To Lamar Odom for three. Yes, that's what it was. 101 100. Sharif Durahim to Chris Weber. Chris Weber of the Blazers. He plays for the Blazers now. Pass to Sharif Durahim. The three is good. 104 100. Lamar Odom to Kerry Kittles to Kobe Bryant for three yes sir so a one point game one and a half left to go Sharif versus Pau Gasol the pass to Joachim Noah making a pass that might be the first time that we've seen Noah make a basket on this sim now we get Kobe Bryant with a three tie game at 106 57 seconds left Rip Hamilton he will pass it to Joachim Noah for the dunk. And it's a 108-106 game. Now we got Chucky Atkins passing it to Pau Gasol, who loses the ball. Blazers going the other way. And we got Jason Terry with a clutch basket there. And that'll do it. The Blazers with a pretty nice win there versus the Lakers. 30 Six for Kobe, but it wasn't enough to seal the deal. Got some trades. Rashard Lewis, Brian Skinner, Jared Dudley, Sebastian Telfair. Traded from the Nuggets to the Warriors for Antonio McDyess, Darius Miles, Tony Delka, Juwan Howard. Knicks traded Andrew Bynum, Vladimir Radmanovich, and Jeff Green uh, to the Lakers for Lamar Odom, Dan Lange, and a first-round pick. I wanted Bynum. You know, the Knicks had a log jam at center, and... You know, you can argue maybe that's a, an overpay, but I don't think so because Bynum, Bynum, I feel like Bynum, he's not going to get hurt later on this sim, right? He doesn't he's not going to have a season, or a career debilitating injury, so I feel like he could be really good for the Lakers. So we'll see what that gets them, and if they if you got Bynum, Gasol, and run our test, where does that leave Mar Odom? So yeah. Those are the trades. We got Bucks Magic, by the way. Two minutes left. A couple baskets have been have been made so far as I was talking about those trades. Mana Ginobili to Dirk Nowitzki for three. He sinks it. 95-89. Michael Finley dribbling the ball pass it to Stephon Marbury. He will decide to make this three. Make it a three-point game. Mana Ginobili now with the ball. Guarded by Michael Finley. He will make that jumper, a pretty clutch jumper. 38 seconds left, Stephon Marbury with the alley-oop to Michael Finley. One possession game, but we got some free throws by Mono Ginobili. The inevitable intentional fouling situation. Yeah, this game is over. Final score, 101-94. Magic had some nice plays, but it just wasn't enough. Charlotte versus... Phoenix, Darren Williams, basket good. Nice pass by Brandon Roy and led to a Darren Williams basket. That's a nice backcourt. That's a really nice backcourt. I like it. How about Brandon Roy with a dunk? Bobcats are facing the Suns. I don't know if I mentioned that already, but that's what's going on. Tony Parker missing. Chris Bosh also missing. Six-point game, 420 left. Brandon Roy dribbling the pass to Jared Wallace the basket's good Roy misses that time rebound Suns almost a steal there but Tony Parker is going to throw the alley-oop to Chris Bosh 95-89 Darren Williams he throws an alley-oop to Jared Wallace so it's an eight-point game Bobcats pulling away, perhaps. Brendan Roy missing. The rebound. Here come the Suns going the other way. Larry Hughes with the basket. 
97-91. Darren Williams, he's going to make a basket. Seven-point game, Tony Parker. Can't connect. Andrew Bogut with the rebound. Brennan Roy pulls up for the two. Final score, 103-96. The Bobcats pretty much had command of the game ever since we jumped into it. Didn't really see much from Dwight Howard. Was he even in the game? I don't think he was. If he was, he was very quiet, which doesn't feel right. Is that his hand right there? Might be That might be his arm that we just saw. So, I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention. Uh, Bucks, Nets. Got a jumper there by uh, Mari Stoudemire, I believe. We're in New Jersey, Continental, Continental Airlines Arena. And we got Amari Stoudemire with the basket. 191, the Nets pulling away already. Could this be happening for real? Grant Hill with the jumper. 102.91. This is game, it's already over. 102.93, goodbye. Mari Stoudemire, that's a nice shot, but unless we have more Nets games, I feel like that'd be wrong to just put him as a thumbnail because he's because uh, he was barely in that highlight package. But there's a Bobcats jumper, 83.79. They're facing the Wizards in Washington. We got Gilbert Arenas with the layup, drawing the foul. 83-82. Darren Williams gets blocked by Josh Smith. Woo! Yeah. Josh Smith, that, that, that was nothing. Check it out again. Oh, yeah. That was awesome. Okay, five minutes up. Brendan Roy, how does he respond to that? How does Darren Williams respond to that? He sinks a three. 86-82. Darren Williams. The pass to Gerald Wallace. Now, uh, Kenya Martin. He will make that shot. I thought Yao Ming was able to get a piece of that. Nah, I was mistaken. Yao Ming does get a rebound there, though. He makes a basket. 88-84. 90-84, actually, now. Yao Ming to the basket. Four point game. Gubarinas makes a jumper. All of a sudden, one possession game with less than. Well, now there's 90 seconds left. Four possession. Or two possession game. And we got a miss. And Josh Smith tipping. So 92 90 now. 110 left. Things are heating up in DC. We got Brendan Roy. Screen. Pass. Ooh, Darren Williams. Oh, wow. Did you see that? The way he turned around after shooting it. What a flex. 99-92. This Bobcats team. Really fun. Really, really fun. You know, Darren Williams. Brennan Roy. Okay, I got to move on. Hawks. Celtics. Paul Pierce with the basket. For, it's been a while since we've seen the Celtics, right? Since opening weekend. Uh... We got Jay Williams, and he's passed it to Tim Duncan. We'll dunk the ball, 96-92. Four minutes left to go. Jay Williams to Hito Turkoglu. He will dribble it, try to get past the defender, make the shot, 96-94. Check out the replay of Turkoglu. Doing his thing, Lair Turkish Larry Bird. That's that's what he is in the sim. He really, he reminds me a lot of uh, how Larry Bird looked in the, in this in the sim. And uh, maybe I don't know. Pretty fun to see. Got a block there though by Tim Duncan. Got blocked. He got the ball. Made the shot. Ties the game. So it's 96-96. Ronnie Buford's in there. Crunch time, which is interesting. Got a pass to Jamal Tinsley. He makes a jump shot. 98-96 now is the score. Paul Pierce. Oh, you know who's missing? I think uh, no Ray Allen, which is not great. Actually, no, he's out there. Never mind. Never mind. We got a missed shot there by Paul Pierce. The Hawks have a chance to tie this game. Jay Williams. The pass. Tim Duncan. The jumper off glass. That's a signature move. Mr. Fun Big Fundamental. Now we got Paul Pierce driving. Double teamed. Don't matter. And it's 198. That would be it. 104.98. That was basically that sealed the game. Interesting. I didn't realize that was what was about to happen. All right. Suns Thunder. 84.80 is the score. We got a jumper there. That was Chris Bosch. 
86-82. Bonzi Wells. OKC. Misses the shot. Tips it in. Six-point game. Kevin Durant. Pass to Jameer Nelson, who pump fakes. Passes it to Marvin Williams, who misses. Rebound, Tony Parker. And now here come the Suns. And here's an alley-oop to Chris Bosh. This is what the Suns do. The Suns love their alley-oops. They alley-oop their way to a championship last season. As we see a jumper for the Thunder. 90-84, Tony Parker with the three. One possession game again. We got some close games in this video. Nice to see some games coming down to the wire. Tony Parker making the jumper. Whoa. How about Bargnani? <laughs> Come on. All right, Bargnani versus Dwight Howard. Get that out of here. Are you kidding me? Tony Parker now with the ball. Getting past his defender. Missing, but Dwight Howard with the dunk. There's Dwight Howard. He has come alive. Jameer Nelson trying to get past some Suns defenders. Running out of time. Better make a decision. Yikes. Oh, God. Marvin Williams. No. Obanyani. Oh, <laughs> uh, I was just clowning Barnani and he made the game-winning basket. Go freaking figure. <laughs> 14 and 13 for Barnani. 26 for Tony Parker. Let's watch more Suns. This time against a really, really good Mavericks team. Uh, yeah. Got a Pages Tejakovic three. That's a miss. Rebound Mavericks. How about Iguodala with the basket? 101 100. Potential conference finals matchup, maybe. Second round matchup, maybe, in the playoffs. Could see it. Shaq to Kwame Brown. He's actually kind of decent in this sim. Kwame Brown makes the shot. You know, I think. Not being the number one pick, he was allowed. He was allowed to ease his he, he was allowed to ease his way into the league, and I think that worked out better for him. We got a missed shot by the Mavericks. Suns going the other way. Pedro Stojakovic with the bow. Oh, bad pass. Here comes Vince Carter. Carter getting blocked. Kwame Brown to Carter. To Jason Kidd, who gets blocked by Joy Howard, but the Mavericks hold on to the ball. What's Jason Kidd going to do? He's going to make that layup. What a defensive stand by the Suns for a little while there, but Mavericks still able to come away with the basket. Dwight Howard, the inbounds pass to Tony Parker, and a botched alley oop. I like it's been a while since we've seen a botched alley oop. That's a trademark in this sim if you've been following along. We got Kwame Brown. Foul, getting fouled by Chris Bosch, who thinks that's a bunch of BS. So it's 106 101. And we got Tony Parker to Larry Hughes. The three? No. No chance. And the Mavericks at the other end. Are they going to make this a three possession game? Vince Carter. The pass to Iggy. The miss. The Suns are still alive, folks. 103 left to go. Five-point game. Parker to Hughes. Hughes with the news. Makes the basket. 106-103. Okay, one more stop. And this could be really interesting. Iguodala, though, also misses. He misses the same shot. So here come the Suns. Tony Parker spinning. Trying to get past Jason Kidd. Stays on his man. Parker. Ooh. Misses that shot. That was a bold choice to decide to go with that attempt anyway. But uh, Mavericks win 111-109. Final score. Moving right along. Hawks. Hornets. This arena. I love the design of this arena. This era of Hornets basketball. We got a basket there for the Hawks. Turkaloo. Misses. Rebound Hornets. Oh, steal. Turkaloo. With this Turkish Larry Bird. I'm telling you, folks. I'm not, this I'm not bullshitting you. Donis Haslam gets the rebound there. Makes the basket. Dwayne Wade. To Charlie Villanueva. 
to Baron Davis. He misses the shot. Rebound to Tabusefalosha. Now the, uh, the pass to Turkaloo. And the dunk! Just look at him go, man. It's crazy. Here's Turkaloo. One on one. Is that Villanueva? I think he kind of went toe to toe with, with uh, Turkaloo, but drew the foul. And now. Ah, some free throws. Turkaloo makes them both. So, how will the Hornets respond? I guess we won't know yet because Turkaloo's going to miss and Duncan will make this put back. So, now it's an eight point game. Now, how the Hornets will respond? Huh? Al Jefferson with the dunk. Two minutes left. They better move quickly. Dwayne Wade over Turk. Misses the shot. Tim Dunk with the rebound. Here comes Turk Lou in the fast break. Give me that dunk. This game is over. 104 98. 30 and 15 for Duncan. 28 for Turk Lou. Averaging 22 points per game. Now let's watch Rockets. Trailblazers. Jason, Jason Terry making that shot for Portland. Tracy McGrady. Pulls up for the jumper. 99-95. 2.12 left to go. And Jason Terry to Chris Weber. Turnaround jumper is good. Four-point game. Who is that? Link Allen. Bad pass. And here comes Green with the dunk. Trace McGrady. Makes that shot. Four-point game all of a sudden. And that's about it. 111-105. Final score. And uh, Rockets coming with the win. Didn't really see any Allen Iverson there, but oh well. Kobe Bryant leading the league with 27 points per game. I Don't worry. I fixed the simulation settings. I had to make some adjustments because these scoring averages felt a bit low to me. So that's all right. Let's check out the standings. Because, uh, oh, wait, actually, what are we going to do? What are we doing? What are we, what are we doing? Okay. Rebounding leader, Rashid, Rashid Wallace. And Kyle Lowry with the assists. Leading the league in assists. Let's, now let's check out the standings, shall we? Mavericks 25 and 7. The Hornets 19 and 12. Got the Lakers at 16 and 11. Suns, Jazz, Wolves, Warriors, and Thunder in the top eight. Inter interesting to see the Thunder in there. They have a three game losing streak. So they are at one point. They were 13 and 11. They're starting to slide a little bit. Then you have the Blazers at 14 and 17. I thought they'd be better. They have a pretty good group of guys. But uh, I guess Joakim Noah's young. Chris Webber might be getting too old. Maybe they got him a year too late. But uh, Timberwolves are right in the thick of things. They have a four-game winning streak, too. Jazz as well. And then the Warriors have won three straight with Andre Miller and uh, Kurt Thomas and J.R. Smith. Let's see who's below the Blazers or no. Mavericks being 25 and 7 is, is, is uh, pretty interesting. They're really starting off the season pretty hot with Jason Kidd and Shaq and Vince Carter and Andre Iguodala. The Lakers perhaps could be better. That's why they made that trade for Andrew Bynum. We'll see how that uh, affects them down the road. Let's check out the rest of the standings. Houston Rockets 12 and 15. Kings and Grizzlies both 12 and 17. Get the Nuggets at 12 and 19. Then the Spurs and the Clippers. But the Nuggets are really struggling. I feel like Derrick Rose is experiencing some, some growing pains there. Then in the East, look at this. The Bucks are 28 and 4. The Celtics are 22 and 6. Then you get the Bobcats, the Hawks, Wizards, Raptors, Bulls, and Magic. Nets at 15 and 13. Knicks are 500. And then you have a big jump. Cavaliers 9 and 17. Heat 10 and 19, Pistons 8 and 19, Pacers and 76 or so. Quite a few bad teams in the East, but the teams up top are really, really good. So let's watch the Magic versus the Suns now. So we see a dunk there by Dwight Howard. 89 84. Michael Finley missing. Sean Marion with the putback. And it's a one possession game. Larry Hughes to Chris, Chris Bosch for three. Count it. 94-86 all of a sudden. That's a missed shot. Tony Parker with the tip in. And that's it. That's it already. Suns beat the Magic. 101-94. Wasn't really a contest when we jumped in, but 
Suns had some nice highlights there. Raptors versus the Hornets. I haven't really seen the Raptors at all this season except for the opening weekend episode. So let's check them out now. How about a layup there by Dwayne Wade? Most likely. 101 100 now is the score. We got a missed basket by the Raptors. Al Jefferson with the rebound. Here's Dwayne Wade. Making another basket. Drawing the foul. Raising the roof. Tie game at 103. Baron Davis to, to Rafe the Friends. To Dwayne Wade for three. He sinks it. And the Hornets are up by three. Inbounds pass to Armstrong. Hilton Armstrong. Now uh, Devin Harris to Davis. Ricky Davis with the jumper. 106, 105. So we got Ricky Davis versus Baron Davis. Battle Davises. Hilton Armstrong for three. Okay. Didn't realize that was his game. I was not familiar with your game. At least in 2K. Dwight, uh, Dwayne Wade will make that mid range jumper. So it's a one possession game. Dwayne Wade again. Will hesitate. Pass to Baron Davis. Shot clock winding down. Baron Davis cannot hit that shot. And the Raptors will win 112-108. Mike Dunleavy had 25 points. Carlos Boozer had uh, over 20 points as well. There's a shot of uh, Dwayne Wade. We'll see if I end up using him. But the Hornets lose yet again, even though they're second place in the West. When we jump into games, they lose. So what's that all about? Hawks, Bobcats now in Atlanta. Turkaloo. Um, make uh, pass it to Tim Duncan who makes that basket. 94-93. Brendan Roy loses the ball. Jay Williams going the other way. Jay will miss the shot, but get the rebound. Tim Duncan. There you go. So Hawks take the lead. Darren Williams with the layup. 96-95 Turkaloo. Dribbling between his legs. Spinning. Getting past Darren Williams for the dunk. Andrew Bogut tried to help, but it wasn't enough. Turkaloo. Oh. Duncan loses the ball. Darren Williams going the other way. Pass to Gerald Wallace and the dunk. 98-97. Turkaloo. Can't hit that jumper. Rebound, Gerald Wallace. Mm. And there's another steal. Jay Williams with the dunk. And the Hawks take a one-point lead. Darren Williams. How will he respond? Pass it to Brandon Roy. Roy. To Darren Williams. Blocked by Cephalosha. And then the foul. I think... That, that might be it. What a block by Cephalosha. Well, let's watch this free throw. All right, 101-98, so it's one possession game. So let's see if the Bobcats can do anything about this. Darren Williams, top of the key. Gets the screen. Ooh, bad pass. Another steal. No effort. Where was the effort? Get the ball. Jay Williams yet again. Man, the Bobcats blew it. 103-98, final score. Tim Duncan led the Hawks with scoring. Okay, Bucks, Boston, two of the, the top East teams. How come there's nobody at the, in the stands? Doesn't make any sense. Luau Dang with the basket there. Here's the replay. We saw this in the very beginning of the episode. Now you're getting the context. Oh, there's more fans now, but still too many empty seats. Got Penny Hardaway missing the shot. They're dunking it. 97-94. Too much green on the feet on the on the court, which I'm not a fan of, but that's okay. It's the uniforms were what are, whatever. What are you gonna do? Ginobili now with the ball, 97-96. He's gonna make a three, give the Bucks a four-point lead. And now here's a pass, corner three. Jamal Tinsley, he's gonna miss. Rebound, Ginobili. Ginobili on the break, the pass to Hardaway, the dunk. 102-96. Paul Pierce makes that jumper from the charity stripe. 
Now Penny Hardaway handling the ball. Oh my god, a steal. Now we got a steal in this game. Paul Pierce with the layup. Two point game. Well, dang. Making that shot over Jamal Tinsley. Now here's Tinsley getting the screen. Missing the jumper. Rebound Bucks. And now we have Penny Hardaway spinning, making this shot. 106-104 now is the score. 46 seconds left to go. Penny Hardaway, the pass. Dirk Nowitzki passes it to Dang for the basket. Could that be it? Well, let's see. Birdman. With the pass to Garnett. Who makes that shot? So let's see what the Bucks do about that. Well, the Celtics get the ball back somehow. Birdman, Birdman. Passing it to Ray Allen. Now Paul Pierce for three. That is way too short. But Jamal Tinsley! Yes! He does make the three. And it's a one point game. How can the Bucks respond? Give it to Penny Hardaway. Oh, that's a good look. Oh, wow. Wow. Almost. Almost. At least that, at least that was an actual play. Man, 32 for Luau Dang, 23 for Penny. What a game. What a finish. Paul Pierce. Possible screenshot. We'll see. Possible thumbnail, I mean. All right. Suns, Rockets, 75-74. Page Stajakovic. With the shot clock winding down, he's going to miss. Pump fake pass to Tony Parker. Makes that shot. 78-75. Trace McGrady misses, but is it Kendrick Perkins with the, the putback? I think that's Kendrick Perkins. I think he's on the, the Rockets now. Yes, he is. 78-77. We got a steal by the Rockets. And we got a basket there by Trace McGrady. Two-point game. Peja. Can't hit. McGrady with the rebound. Be nice to see Iverson do something. Okay, here we go. Iverson with the alley-oop to Elton Brand. Okay. It's nice. Trace McGrady misses that shot. 2.45 left to go. The alley-oop to Dwight Howard makes it a one-possession game. Missed shot. Gives the Suns a chance to tie it. Tony Parker missing. But Dwight Howard with that dunk. Tie game at 82. Now it's 84-82. Allen Iverson. Is he going to cross over Dwight Howard? Let's see it. Let's see it. He misses. Doesn't even get a foul drawn, which is a shame. But Tony Parker now with the ball. Pedro Stiakovic. To Chris Bosch makes the shot. Tie game. 105 left. We got Allen throwing the ball to the wrong team. So Yakovic, Tony Parker for the basket. Check out the replay. Parker running down court. Finishing the fast break. Very nice. Two point game. What can the Rockets do? Malik Allen to uh, Allen Iverson. The pass to T Mac. The three. No good. Suns with the rebound. And that will do it. 90 to 84. Suns beat the Rockets. The Rockets with. It just doesn't seem to be working out. We're seeing it on the court, too. Iverson. Doesn't feel like he's really standing out. And I don't know if that duo is really making much sense now. Uh, we got a three there by Chris Paul watching the Kings versus the Jazz. 97-96. Chris Paul gets a rebound there. And then the pass to Jermaine O'Neal. The dunk. 99-96. Chris Paul. Misses that shot, but the dunk by Jermaine O'Neal makes it a five-point game. Mike Bibby to 
Tayshawn Prince misses the three. Rebound, Jermaine O'Neal. Now two and a half left to go. O'Neal to Anthony for the dunk. Seven point game. Mike Bibby to Tayshawn Prince. Can't hit the three. The Kings on the run. And there's the basket. Nine point game. Seven point win by the Kings. And that would do it. Jermaine O'Neal with 23 and 10. 24 for Joe Johnson. More trades. More trades. Shane Battier and. Oh, wait, what the hell? <laughs> or, or, or I'm starting in the wrong direction. I should, start, I should be starting below. Or starting down lower. Because uh, that doesn't make any sense. Because last we checked, Shane Battier was on the Bulls. But. Uh, okay, yeah, let's start here. Uh, yes, yeah, so we got Richard Lewis trade. Andrew Bynum trade. Yeah, Zaza Puchulia and first round pick. And Raymond Felton got traded to the Clippers for Kendrick Perkins and Eddie Gill. Ginger Barea and Marco Bellinelli. A couple seconds ago to the Clippers for Sam Cassell, Michael Beasley. Rasheed Wallace, Smush Parker, Reggie Williams to the Magic for Brad Miller. Yada, yada, yada. A couple, couple of first round picks. Shane Batty, a trader from the Bulls to the Heat for Corey McGetty, Glenn Robinson. Tony Batty, traded to the Bulls for, for Okor. And then we got Shane Batty, a Sasha Vucevic. And Brad Miller to the Grizzlies. So that, those are the trades. That's it for trade deadline stuff. Now let's wrap up um, the video with some more games and get out of here. Chauncey Billups with the ball. It's 107.98. Billups will make that three. All of a sudden, a two possession game with two and a half, or less than two minutes left to go now. Chris Paul can't make that shot. Rebound Tony Batty, who just, just uh, got traded for. And now uh, we got Jason Richardson with the pass to Batty. He makes the shot. Check out the replay. The pass. Basket. And that's why they brought him. You know, the, the Bulls kind of had a weak front court. So you see a missed shot there by Cormaghetti. He won't have he won't be number zero for long, but he's number zero for now. We got Camaro uh, Anthony making a basket. 109-103. 111-103. Final score, 111-106. McGetty with 21. Anthony with 28 and 12. Yeah, the Bulls made that trade. Made a few trades to jazz up their team, you know, trying to make a playoff push with Chauncey Billups and uh, and Jason Richardson. So that's why they made the moves they made. Jay Josh Smith misses. Yao Ming with the make. We're watching Wizards versus Celtics. 85-82. Wizards with the lead currently. Paul Pierce. With the pass to Jamal Tinsley for the corner three. Tie game at 85. Paul Pierce gets blocked by Josh Smith. Kevin Garnett can't make that three. Yao Ming with the rebound. Three and a half minutes left to go. Give it to Renus. With the alley up. That's Mason. Check him out. Catching the ball midair. Making the shot. 87-87, Paul Pierce to Kevin Garnett for the dunk. Two-point game, Gibberinus. The pass to Mason, the th ugh, air ball. That's bad. Jamal Tinsley misses. Birdman to Tinsley. That's bad. That's good, that dunk by Kevin Garnett. All of a sudden, 91-87. Yao Ming with the basket. Two point game. Brad Miller. Pass to Yao Ming. Basket ties the game. 21 seconds left now. What can the Celtics do? Are we going to get overtime here? Let's see. Jamal Tinsley at the wing. I think he could take the final shot. Let's see if he decides to do that. He has a lot of other players who could take the final shot, too. Let's see. Here comes Paul Pierce for three. No, we are going to overtime, folks. Okay. All right. Crack my knuckles. Whew. We're doing this. Let's do it. Four and a half left to go in OT. We got uh, Brevin Knight with the Oh, Never mind. Bosch Eliup leads to a Yao Ming basket. 93-91. Paul Pierce, double teamed, 
Gets blocked twice. Yikes. Paul Pierce gets the ball back. Making that shot over Mike Miller. Gets the better matchup there. 3.50 left. Mason. Mike Miller for three. No good. Gray with the rebound. And Gray with the pass to Kevin Garnett. Dunk. 95-93. Desmond Mason for three. Misses. Garnett with the rebound. The Celtics going the other way. Missed shot there. Birdman gets blocked by Yao Ming. The Wizards. Gilbert Arenas. Let's see what he decides to do here. Gets the screen from Yao. Makes the jumper. What a good screen by Yao Ming there. Give it Arenas now. Yet again. Bad. It, I don't know. That was just bad. <laughs> uh, Celtics ball. Corner three is good by Ray Allen. 185. That was good. Give it Arenas with the dunk there. One possession game. Paul Pierce. Pass to Ray Allen. Another three. Could that have done it? I think we might have see a little more. Gilbert Arenas dribbling. The pass to Yao Ming. He makes the basket, draws the foul. 103 100. All of a sudden, Wizards get the ball. With 35 seconds left to go, Desmond Mason can't tie the game there. Celtics with the rebound. And here's the intentional foul. Kevin Garnett at the free throw line. First free throw's good. And here's the second one. Simcast, the rest. 105-102 final score. Celtics win. The Bucks are 36 and 9. The Celtics are 33 and 10. You get the Hawks and Bobcats in the top four. Wizards, Nets, Knicks, and Bulls in the top eight. Raptors 20 and 21. We only saw one Raptors game, but they were they beat the Hornets in that game. They're pretty impressive. So we'll see if they can stay in the playoff race. The Magic have fallen off. The Pacers are 18 and 27. So they're that young team is finally starting to click, it seems like, which you know, maybe too late to make the playoffs, but still, we'll see if they can finish strong. Pistons, Heat, they're, yeah, they're not doing too great. You got the Cavaliers, the Sixers, way down there at the bottom, but that's, that's to be expected with where those teams are at. Cavaliers with a 10-game losing streak. Mavericks, 37-8, and eight. they're also pretty awesome, like the Bucks. Then you got the Lakers, Suns. Lakers, 28-14 and 14 now. Suns, Hornets are fourth seed, still pretty solid. Timberwolves, Thunder, Blazers, Warriors. Then you get the Jazz at 21 and 22. Just checking out the Thunder real quick. Kevin Garnett looking nice. Marvin Williams shooting nice. Andre Bargnani is doing okay. Jameer Nelson with some nice shooting splits too. Uh, yeah. Warriors barely hanging in there. The bottom there. But uh, let's see what's below the Jazz. The Kings at 20 and 24. And then below them, 19 and 25 are the Nuggets. We'll see if the Nuggets can make a playoff push. The Rockets are 17 and 24. Yeah, I moved Allen Iverson to point guard. I'm hoping that this works. We'll see if that works out. Spurs, Grizzlies, Clippers, way at the bottom. They're not good. Let's check out the stats. Did my adjustments work? Yes, they did. They did a little bit. So I made some adjustments, and now Kobe's averaging 30 points per game. If you're asking what I did, it's shot distribution. Uh, I had dipped it. I had So you can adjust the sliders so that the shot distribution, basically it's like how much points are distributed between star players and role players. So I put it all the way up to 100 just to make sure some of those point averages went up. So that's that's what I did behind the scenes there. You can see the leaders everywhere else. I mean, you, you can see them. Whatever. Steph Curry. Um, no surprise there. He's the potential number one pick of the draft. You got James Harden. Hashim Thabit. 
to beat the beat. Uh, Blake Griffin, Ricky Rubio, Aaron Baines. Aaron Baines. I don't think he was draft. I think he went undrafted in real life, but I guess this would be this would have been the year he was drafted. So I guess yeah, yeah. sure. Ch Chief kicking stallions isms. We'll see if he does anything in this league, but he's a uh, he is um, what, what do you call it? Well. He's going to get drafted. That's all. <laughs> That's all I can say. Jeff T, DeMar DeRozan, Wesley Matthews. This is a deep draft. Deep, deep draft. But we're several, several episodes away from that. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe. All-Star Break is next. Hope you uh, check that one out. Enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye.